Geneva, Switzerland with Jose Fernandez, full instructor in JKD Unlimited, speaks French, Italian, Spanish. He can help, he helps everybody in, in Europe. Uh, we're gonna look at the guillotine with the arm in and how to finish it because a lot of times people will get to this position but they can't finish it because the technique to finish is very precise and detailed. If you do it wrong, opponent's gonna be able to counter. If you do it correctly, you're gonna be able to choke the guy unconscious. So, first of all, let's look at the regular guillotine. When we do the regular guillotine, I'll turn this way, I have his head, but I'm not going to have his arm here. So the regular one is here, and I'm pulling up. I bring my elbows to my side, I'm gonna lift up. But as I do, if he knows the counter, he's gonna take this over, and I'm gonna get stuck in here with him stacking me, and then I'm not gonna be able to finish. It's very uncomfortable. So, if I add the arm over his arm, this actually counters his ability to put the arm over. So that's the nice thing about using the arm in guillotine. The problem is that when we start to lift up the regular guillotine, you're in here, elbows to your body, and you lift everything up. Since his arm is inside, I can't lift up. See from here? It's in here. If I, I can't lift up. That's the first problem. Second problem, when you turn, is this is what you see all the time. People are here, they come back, and they start to do the guillotine here. But you see how you can see the back of his neck? What's going to happen here? He's going to put his hand on my arm, he's going to pull his head out. You see this all the time, just like this in UFC and other fighting organizations. So, how do we make this thing work? couple things. Number one, instead of bringing your elbow back to your, to your ribs, you're going to put your elbows forward. Forward. Why is that? Because look, when I keep them forward, first I'm going to arch, arch my back forward, curl forward, chin up here on his back, elbow forward. When I turn, now look, you can't see the back of his neck. If I put it this way, you see his neck. That's how his head pops out. So I need to keep his head in place by curling forward and putting my elbow forward. Okay, now his head is not coming out. That's number one. Second advantage of putting your elbow forward is anytime you do a choke, you wanna go against the carotid. You wanna close the carotid artery down. The carotid artery is running right in here. If I put my elbow back, now a lot of my pressure is on his jaw. See this, there is some on his neck, but a lot is on his jaw. When I go forward here, now I'm cutting at a perpendicular angle, 90 degrees, to his carotid. That makes the choke happen better. And the last thing we're gonna do to make this choke happen is we're going to crimp, pinch the carotid by making his head go in here. Just like on a triangle, you pull the head down. Same thing here, you're gonna pull the head in. So think of a hose, if you crimp the hose, water's not gonna go through. So I'm here. Like this, I'm forward. I'm gonna fall on my side to make his head go into the choke. I come here, and then as I finish, I put, push my feet away, and I take my upper arm and I push it forward by turning my body this way to make his head go under his own body here. And that's it. One more time. So from right here, I get the position from however you get there, I have my elbows forward so his head's not gonna come out. Curled over him, chin forward. If I'm back here, I see the back of his neck. I wanna be forward. I go to the side here. I pull my arms up while I turn in and extend away with the legs. That's the choke. So, use that choke. <laughs> Just make sure if you, uh, if you're doing the head and arm guillotine, you keep that elbow forward, you turn to your side, and as you're bringing the arms up and extending the weight, legs away at the same time, which is a kind of weird motion, you're here, and as you're pulling here, you're extending at the same time. You have to get used to that, and you're turning in. Work all those details, and you'll see people will start tapping <laughs> to your head and arm guillotine.